Good morning guys, welcome into today's video. I wonder what the people driving by think about the fact that I'm walking with the camera. Boys are out there looking for grass. This was maybe not a great idea. It poured rain in the night and everything is wet and soaked. It is almost 25 degrees. There's a huge breeze though, so it feels nice. Sophie and I are looking for bug spray. I'm allergic to mosquitoes. I, oh, I know where it is. I know we have bug spray and man, do we need it. Ta-da! Follow me on TikTok, it's Sophie and Finn. Actually, it's Finn and Sophie. Sophie's been really active on her TikTok the last two days. She just learned how to do it. I'm super proud of her. And next TikTok's gonna be fun. She has it all planned out. Ideally, one of my kids will get the editing bug and take over our vlogs at some point. That's gonna be Gabby. You think that's gonna be Gabby? Yeah. Why do you think that? Because I'm not good at it. You are, you just have to try. You haven't even tried. I'll show you how easy it is. Hello, Robin. It's cut and paste. I have a thing with Robins. So, what did you ask God? Like that bird, let me get really close to it. Let you get really close to it. And what did you ask God a couple of days ago? So wait, let me tell. A couple of days ago, Sophie was really upset and really missing Stella and was crying and said, like, I don't know. I don't feel like she's okay. I don't think she's... Night. Yeah, yeah, like, it's hard still. And she said, I don't think Stella's okay. I don't think Stella's okay. And I said, ask God to give you a sign. What did you ask God to tell to give you a sign of? If a bird gets really close to me. Can you put, let a bird get really close to me, and that will be a sign that Stella's okay. And then what's been happening to you? Bars let me get really close to me. The one robin that's in the little room flies literally up to me and then out the window. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's saying, Get the heck away from my babies! <laughs> but still, there was a bird on do you head. think she's okay now? Kind of. Do you think God's sending you birds for Stella? You think Stella is sending you birds? Yeah. Me too. Okay, so today we are headed to the beach. Gabby stayed home, her puppy can't come, so she didn't want to leave her. Locked in a crate. Yesterday we went on a trail ride and the puppy had to stay at home and that upset Gabby. Even though she loved the trail ride, she didn't want to leave her two days at home in a crate for a long period. The puppy does amazing though. Um, she goes to bed between 10 and 11 and wakes up between 7 and 7.30. She doesn't go to the bathroom in the crate and she doesn't cry until she's ready to get up in the morning. So that is, and she's never been one to wake up in the middle of the night. So we got really lucky that way. Oh, and for anybody who's concerned about me overfeeding her, you can tell she's an excellent weight. And I was holding the camera when I filled her bowl and I overfilled it. However, I often, if I feed her, I fill the bowl completely up to the top. Um, the way we feed puppies is that we take the bowl away when she's done and give it back to her the next feeding. We don't free feed, we don't leave it there. She only eats an appropriate amount. We're always there to watch her. She is not the kind of puppy that scarfs down her food no matter how much you give her. Like we, all of our dogs, every single one of them are picky eaters. They don't just eat and eat and eat. They only eat as much as they need and then they stop. So we got really lucky that way and maybe it's because we've never denied them food. I don't know. Um, if she was a different kind of puppy and over eight, then we would only put her portion in there. But instead, we fill the bowl. I take it away when she's done her breakfast and give it back to her later. She still has food from that feeding uh, yesterday. It's just easier than having to fill up her bowl every single time. All right, we are at the beach. Some of you guys might recognize this. This is our trailer. Last year, we used to also have a big, huge sunroom. You want my sweater? You want my sweater? No. Woo, it is cold. Because we had we, cold drinks. Yeah, the beach is literally one, five steps that way. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we love being here. This is our favorite place ever. But then last year, we hardly came at all. And this year, we decided we were going to get a new trailer because this isn't so old. It looked a lot the better barn's with the sunroom. The barn is your favorite place? Yeah, yeah, like we feel like we can't come here as often anymore because we have the horses at home. We can never sleep over. Um, a couple of summers ago, we were here every single night when we were boarded our horses. So we woke up this morning and I told Sam, you know, we need to decide what we're here. You already paid for this year. Um, but we need to decide what we're going to do. Are we going to get a new trailer and put it in here and come twice like we came twice last year? Or do we just pull out and say goodbye to the trailer? Stay. You want to stay? Yeah. In the car. She said she didn't want to come here. Because we have horses. I know. So, 
This morning, Sam and I decided to pull the trailer out. Also, because of COVID, we're not allowed off our site. We're not allowed to use the pool. We're not allowed to use the beach. We're not allowed to use the rec hall. We're not allowed to use the park. None of that stuff. So, I mean, it just seems silly to have a trailer here. I think we're going to pull out, you guys. All right, this is Operation Clean Up the trailer so I ended up cutting being able to cut the grass and the I think I'm the luckiest person because I found three dollars three dollars so you guys might remember that we had a big sunroom here on the front of our trailer and we sold it to somebody and they came and took it out and somehow left three dollars yeah. so lucky they also cleaned up the yard really well but inside is a whole different story so we have to decide what we want to do with this trailer I have personally wanted it to give it away to somebody and just let them come and take it so that it's gone and we don't have to worry about it. But now that I'm here, I'm feeling kind of nostalgic and we're not going to have a trailer anymore and that's okay. But, um, we're going to bring it home. Yeah, let's bring and it home. I can have um, a place to stay. Yeah, like we'll have, like, why can't we take it home? We here, can get rid of it any, at any point when we're at home. I think it'll be fun. Uh, right now it is stuffed full with all of our stuff. I got this child. Sophie's got a baby. We left. You left your baby here all winter? Because he's. It's a boy. It's a bad baby. <laughs> Why is it the bad baby? Because he has eyebrows. Oh. Yeah, we don't like babies with eyebrows. Or bug spray. Toys for Jacob. Spray myself. I say we, we take spray. some stuff home with us today. Like all of our fur outdoor furniture. Honestly, out at the back, we can have like a big fire. We can have the little pool. We can have the trailer. It would be like camping all the time. It would be fun. I think it would be fun. I think that's what we're going to do. What do you guys say? Vote in the comments below. Do you think we should A, get an entirely new trailer and put it here and visit once or twice a year with our family? Or B, take this trailer home and keep it and set it up and camp in our own yard? Or C, get rid of all of it and be free. Bring all the floaties home. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff in here. I, I found this. Mm -hmm. These things are the best because you can put your GoPro on it. You can put your GoPro yeah, on right it? here. Oh, that's super cool. And um, yeah. Look at these horses. Way back in the day, we used to stop here and let the girls see the horses. We used to get out of the car and like give them an apple, which now I know is the very wrong thing to do, but nobody ever stopped us. And we should have known better, but we didn't. Uh, look at how chubby they all are, though. They're out in this big, huge grass field, and they are fat. They are fat, fat. So cute, though. Not a skinny one among them. They all look healthy. But look at them. Six in a little herd. I love it. Sophie, which one would you buy if you could buy one of those horses? You'd buy the paint? I buy the paint too. There's palominos and bays and chestnuts and one lonely paint. Sophie and I are still missing our Stella. We are still missing having a paint. That uh, is hair dyeing day. That is why my hair would be looking like this. I didn't want to put any spray or anything in it. Um, it's funny though, like back when we used to, when Gabby was two, we used to drive down this road to the trailer and she used to always beg to get out and Sam would take her out and hold her up against the fence and the horses would come up. There's only a couple here. And every once in a while, if we had an apple, we would give them an apple. Now, when I drive by, I have like a heart attack thinking like, uh, the possibility of the horse is foundering. Like, once you know a little bit about horses, no, life is never as easy ever again. Like, it's never the same. You can't ever look at anything without worrying, which is, I think, why a lot of times people always want to give us advice. And it's because they know things or have seen things and they don't want it to happen to us. You like that one? So I'm at Walmart with Sophie and she found a bathing suit that she likes. I like it too. I like it a lot. It's different than the other one. Um, this is the one that I picked and she didn't like it. She didn't like this one, the one that I picked. Yeah, I don't like this one. Show them the one that you picked. It's the one I picked. This is the one that she picked. Totally different suits. Yeah. This one has more gray. That one has more gray. I found a hack if you end up going down one of the aisles the wrong way. I don't know if you guys have that where you live, but there's lines on the thing, those, that thing. It says one way. 
If you end up going the wrong way, just quick turn around so it looks like you are always going this way. Who votes we just buy a new rug instead of wash the rugs that we have? Yeah, I want this rug. Pro no, I want this rug. I like that one too. It's really soft and Not nice. Wrapper. Yeah, it's cute. I like it. And it's soft. It's really small though compared to the rugs that we have. Yeah, we're gonna need like one of those ones. I think that the next move for me is to buy Walking. Keep walking. Don't know. Keep happens. walking. We don't know what happened. Ruggable. Have you guys seen those kind of rugs? They you can wash them. They all look like they have a belly ache today. It's too early. See this? Either storm's gonna pee. When I go home from the trailer, I notice Chino standing like that. It makes me nervous. I feel like they all have belly aches, to be honest. All right, so, no, we have stuff to do. We have horse stuff. You, horse people don't get to just have a relaxing, hunt, sunny, hot day. Sophie is wearing her warm bathrobe on this hottest day. Walked through the whole yard with it for all the neighbors to see. I don't like this bathing suit. Is that why you put it on? Yeah. All right, show them the bathing suit. No. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we bought a new bathing suit and it looks really cute on her. It fits her really well. It's a style that she's not in love with. So the style, see how mine is low right here? Instead of up to my neck, well, that's what hers is and she's stressed about it. Just show them. So a couple nights ago, I came into the barn and uh, after we put them in for the night and it was so hot in here. Like I could feel the heat coming off their bodies. And it is shady. There's a spot in the, in the field that's shady. I just don't go there all the time. And then I felt really nervous about them roasting in the sun all day. So I talked to Fiona and I said like, ideally it'd be better if we kept them out at night. I'm just really nervous about it. And so she talked me down and said like, you'll be fine at night, blah, blah, blah. Like we drive away in the daytime and leave them. It's just nerve wracking for me to think that they're out at night when we're I not mean, there to watch. Um, Fit and Storm have been out. Yeah, like lots of horses are out all the time, 24 seven. So we're gonna try that tonight. We're gonna bring them in for the day because it's nice and cool in the barn. You can tell by Sophie wearing a bathrobe. I'm <laughs> Bad. Anyway, so you guys saw, if you saw yesterday's video, a lot of you guys did, of um, the horses galloping, Tex and Chino. Chino seemed like he didn't really want to move and Gabby asked him to go faster a couple of times and squeezed him and he did a crow hop and that's not like him. Um, I do think that he is challenging him, more, him, her more. Like they're at the stage in their relationship where he's like, "You can't make me," and she's like, "Okay, I won't." Like there, there's like a little bit of a back and forth going on right now. It's been for the last few weeks. He's listening to me. He's like, "What are you talking about?" And um, right now, I feel like he's winning, but I don't want to rule out that he's not feeling good. I'm gonna pick his feet and make sure that he's okay. But I also don't know if it's the grass. Like I said, they all are standing out there like they had a belly ache. From the grass and that's not colic necessarily but they can get a belly ache it's called hind gut something acidosis or something when they get too much sugar from the gut and then you know we're going slow but i'm just gonna check and make sure that they're okay are you okay chino so he's slashing the puppies this is the most stressful time of the year for me you think it would be winter but the whole grass thing really throws me through a loop and the sun and the heat, I feel like it's harder for horses than the cold. Even though it got pretty cold this winter, didn't it, Stormy? Giving them a little bit of love and attention. You look pretty hot too. We just shed Finn as much as we could. We just fit, shed Finny. It's hot, you guys. All right, so there's a standoff. The first time Molly doesn't trust Gabby. She wouldn't come to her. Dressed matching today on the hottest day of the year. You're both wearing fur coats. All right, so we, Gabby, this is what we're gonna need help with. So we brought home our outdoor furniture for um, the riding arena so we could sit there and watch. We brought home our big umbrella. I also brought home for the riding arena. I also brought this little carpet that I'm gonna put by the pool. I got a bag of stuff. We got more filters for the pool. We got more shock for the pool. 
super shock and we got some algae side, which never works for us. Essentially, whoa, it's full. There's a bee in there, get it. Essentially what happens with us, with algae side, you have to put the algae side in, then you have to vacuum it out. And we don't have a vacuum for this little pool. As soon as we're done swimming today, we'll put more chemicals in. He's drowning. I think I should get a floaty for him. We're actually like making this farm more of our own this year. Like last year we had the trailer, we had the horse shows every like weekend practically. And we uh, didn't, we hardly were home. And when we were home, we were inside or dealing with the horses this year. Uh, we're trying to make it so that we can be outside and enjoy ourselves. Gabby, on the other hand, is at the age where she wants to be in the house. I want to be in the house. But I'd want to be in the house too if I dressed in winter clothes. I want to be in the house. Like, are you seriously putting <laughs> sunscreen on your knees? Yeah, because then just my knees are going to be tan. So, so Molly didn't trust Gabby because Gabby was exposing her to water and was showing her the water bucket and she doesn't like to get wet does put she she put her in the water bucket yesterday gabby didn't see but you guys didn't see but she put her own paws in the water bucket and hated it she just doesn't like to be wet so because of that this is the first time molly hasn't wanted to go to gabby she's literally like molly, come on. broken her trust do you guys see sam's sweat mark is in the shape of a heart this yeah. way let's see happy face happy Oh yeah, happy face and a heart, or a woman in a bikini. What? Oh. All right, so I put the chairs over here because one could go in the shade. And I don't know where to put anything. This is such a small space. But I have a little carpet there. That makes that look cuter. Woo! Sophie's just been enjoying life. The rest of us are, are dying. Are you dying, Sam? Yeah, I need to go rest. Yeah. Oh, you guys, the heat. Gabby's miserable, the horses are miserable, Sophie's happy, I'm, we're all miserable. I'm gonna go in the water and have a really good soak. It's the only way I can survive summer. I'm curious what you guys do to handle extreme heat. It's, I don't even know what it is. It's probably 30 degrees, but in Canada we have something called humidity. A lot of other places have it too. We're like Florida, similar. And we have so much humidity that it takes it up to like in the 40s and, and beyond because it's so hot here. Hey, handsome. I don't know if they're confused, but I'm sure they're a lot warmer, cooler. You're gonna stay out all night and I think you're gonna love it. Switching up our hours so that we bring them in during the day will mean that they'll have more time outside too and I think they'll love that. This is the scene of the crime when Gabby tried to acclimatize Molly to water and it turned out badly. Well, it just kind of looks like a mess. <laughs> But this is where Sam put our, our couch. And then we're gonna have this big, huge umbrella here. I think I'm gonna take those chairs and put them all the way over there across, like underneath the tree. And we'll have the umbrella and this lounge thing with our little coffee table. The glass that goes on top of here is still at the trailer. I think it will look good eventually. And that's the pool set up over there. The best kind of horse that, ah! I just got shocked and it went all the way to my feet. Oh, that was awful. Don't come near the fence, girls. It's shocking. Well, that was terrible. That was like an electric shock. That was like, holy cow. Look at, can you guys see it? I have a white mark all down my arm from it. I got electrocuted for you. All right, let's try that again. Hello, sweet girl. The best kind of horses are the horses that come up to you no matter what. The first one always to the gate is Gracie and Chino and then little Willow comes and she thinks she's going to get a treat. When I screamed because I got electrocuted, Chino started kicking the thing and trying to get out. I bet she was coming to save me. Some horses do that. Some dogs do that too. They come to save you. Molly's like that and I think Chino's like that too and so is Finn. That's the first time I've ever been electrocuted by the electric fence. I can't believe Molly bit it. No wonder she's scared. All right, what is happening in the hood? Hello, whoa. Did you guys see that? She jumped high. What is happening in the hood? I win, I win. I win, I spent the whole day in the pool no, without you guys. We're doing, playing games on this house party game. I got shocked by the fence. 
Chino tried to come to my rescue. Why is Chino out? He wasn't, but he kicked the door to try and get to me. 